Hi guys, welcome back to DC Nita YouTube channel. Hope everyone is doing good in life. So we would see the question that came up in weekly contest 369. Uh, the first question. So let's read the question and see what's uh, the logic of the question and let's solve the question. The question is as follows. You are given a zero index integer array nums and uh, you have an integer k. The k or of nums is a non-negative integer that satisfies the following condition. The ith bit is set in k or if only and only if the at least k elements in nums whose ith bit is set. Okay, We have to return the k or of nums and uh, what is the meaning of i set? It's given here. So I would first explain you the question, what the question says, then we would proceed on. Okay. okay. The question says, I have, like first I will make you understand what is uh, setting of a bit. A bit is set, a bit is set if it is equal to 1, okay. It is asking us to check, we have k is equal to 4 okay it is it has given us k is equal to 4 it is asking us to say if we have at least like uh, elements four elements whose ith bit is set whose ith bit is 1 like you can see here in the example 7 12 9 15 bit 0 is set in this 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 bit 1 is set in this, bit 2 is set in num 0, num 1 and num 5 and bit 3 is set in this. So only bit 0 and 3 are set in at least k of the array, k elements of array. Okay. We have to check in how many, uh, for how many elements, we have to have a counter that would check for how many elements the bit is set and if it is greater than equal to k we will just have a result and we will just set the result variable okay it's an easy question we have to check for how many values like for 7 12 9 8 9 15 we would see uh, for how many values for how many i's the k is set if it is greater than equal to 4 we will set the result. That's it. Easy question. Now I would show you the answer and explain you. So here's the answer. So it goes like this. For I would be checking for each and every bit. So I took it from 31 to 0. Like uh, I would start from bit 31. Then I have taken a counter variable. I would check for every uh, the uh, every element of nums if the bit is set if the bit is set then count plus plus okay uh, suppose for bit 31 i have checked for each and every element of nums the bit is set or not set and i have like done the counter plus plus if the counter is greater than or equal to k i would just set the result that's it then i would go on and check for each and every bit and this will work for me. You can see that the constants is from uh, 1 to 50. So we have made here uh, an O of n square solution that would pretty much work for it. We would submit it and see if it works or not. And here you can see that it worked and it gave us an accepted. So this is how you can solve this question. So if this video was helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to DCC Neat our YouTube channel. With this, bye.